It was a night like this when the ghost first appeared. Uh, you mean this really is a haunted house? Oh, don't be silly, Steve. That's just a story. We've never seen the ghost ourselves. Ah! Oh, dear. Not another power cut. Spooky, eh? Go on, Mum. Tell him the story. Legend has it that the house was built by a rich old man to hoard his gold. He had dozens of servants waiting on him hand and foot. But he was scared they would steal his gold. So one night, he sneaked out and buried it in the wood. He built secret passages in the house so the servants wouldn't see him creeping out at night to check on his gold. But one night, it was so dark, he couldn't see where he was going. And he stumbled into the well and drowned. It's his ghost that wanders the house, searching for his gold. Ah! Huh? Yeah, well, serves him right. With all that money, he should have bought a torch. <sighs> That's enough silly stories. It's time you boys went to bed. Everybody knows there's no such thing as ghosts. There's something in the wardrobe, just waiting to get me. Don't be a scaredy cat, Henry. You're not afraid of anything, except injections. Today. Oh, yes, Aunt Ruby. It was well good. No pudding for me, thanks, Aunt Ruby. I'm going to bed. <gasps> no pudding? All that playing has tired me out. Good night, Steve. Oh. <laughs> See you in the morning. Good night, Aunt Ruby. Darling. Dooby 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 doo. Dooby 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 doo. Is somebody there? <laughs> Mummy. <laughs> Shadows, and then they leap out of the bushes. Do, 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 do they? Oh, 
right. Only once. Oh. <gasps> oh, I've never even heard of a fanged mangler. I want to see one. I want to see one too. Is this a trick, Henry? Of course it's not. And just for that, I won't let you come. Wait! Please, Henry. Please, can I come too? <gasps> All right, then. But it'll cost you two pounds. Two pounds? Each. <gasps> but, but, but... Well, if you don't want to see the fang mangler... Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll pay! pay. We'll pay. <laughs> Meet me outside the garden shed. Six o'clock sharp. And remember, no money, no monster. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? 
you don't! Come on, we've got to go inside. Don't worry, Peter. You'll be fine. Listen here, brat. This is the best day of Polly's life, and if you muck it up, I will be very, very, very angry. So, what are we going to be? Uh, very, very, very good! Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness the joining of Polly Penelope and Paul Peregrine. <laughs> Peregrine? <laughs> Shut it, Brett. say a few words in praise of my lovely new bride. I'm out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, I first met my lovely wife when she was just a little baby, but she didn't have all of it. Oh, 
bombs. Try question three. Look, Dad, it's all inky. That means the octopus must be really scared. Hmm, I wonder why. I saw a program on TV called The Octopus Whisperer. Maybe we can speak to it. Oh, Mr. Octopus, can you hear me? Look, Dad, it works. Goodbye, Mr. Octopus. What are you looking at? <clears throat> oh, everyone knows that an octopus has got eight tentacles. <laughs> Is anyone there? <coughs> oh, I didn't know fish could bark. talking in my head. Hmm, so can I. It must be catching. Uh, get me out of here! 39, 40, 41, <coughs> 42, 43, 44, Did you 45, see a boy just run through you? 46, 47, 40. Have you never heard of the words excuse me? 49, 50, 51. Excuse me? Because you just interrupted me while I was counting and made me lose my place. But... You might have stopped me from finding the buried treasure which is rightfully mine! I don't think I... One, two, three! At night I shine bright, but in the sea I sit tight. What shines at night? Light bulb? Maybe it's an electric eel. That one's easy. It's a starfish. Thank you, Henry. <gasps> I've finished. So have I. Race you! Oi! You too! <sighs> Got you. Run! We're trapped! Give me your shoe! What? Quick! Give me your shoe! I know you're in here. There's no escape. Oh no! They're in the shark tank! Why did it have to be my shoe? Because it was my idea. to 
tell. You don't have to. Mom! <gasps> Worm! Mom! Henry? Yes? Oh, have you emptied all the bins? Yes. Can I go to Ralph's now? Oh, we've only just started, Henry. Dad wants you to help him wash the car. Oh! It's for you! Henry, I'll be back in a minute. Make sure you wash the windows, too. What? That'll take forever! I can't wash the windows if they're not there, can I? For Dad. That'll speed things up a bit. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. Henry! Oh. Henry! I'm telling! Henry, what are you up to? Uh, nothing, Dad. I finished cleaning the car. Can I go to Ralph's now? No, Mum wants you upstairs. Now. <gasps> right. I want you to take the laundry down to the basement. Oh, my arms are aching! They're going to drop off! Don't be ridiculous, Henry. And don't forget to separate the whites from the colours. <sighs> <sighs> Just a bit. <laughs> Mum said you've got to separate the colours from the whites. So, what are you going to do about it, Telltale? I'm going to tell. Mum! Who cares what colours they are? Henry! Did you do what I said? Yes, it's all sorted. Good. Then you can tidy your room now. This is torture! Can't I tidy my room later? I want to go to Ralph's. Not until you've finished. Empty the bins, wash the car, do the laundry and pick up your socks. They're all over the floor. That's where I keep them! And don't forget to hoover, Henry. <laughs> Now get on with it, please. The sooner... I know! I know! Why do parents always make you tidy your room? It'll only get untidy again, so why not just save time and leave it the way it is? I hate picking up socks. <laughs> Henry, you just tethered up one of your socks. I know! Great, hey? Mum will be really cross. Mum! <sighs> change while I just hang out the washing. Yes! Life is sweet! It's so easy being me I'm Hard Henry And begin Like the souffle 
children, like the souffle. Pushing. Lift and plie. Come ah. on, Margaret. Sink thunder. Ah. Miss Henry's kicking. Heel to heel to. Turn to the left and plie. Sorry, Madam Tutu. I tried my best. Maybe I shouldn't be in the concert. <laughs> Listen to me, Henri. There are no failures in my class. There aren't? No. Everyone has talent if they work hard, and you will be up on that stage with everyone else. Don't you worry. Oh. What am I going to do, Ralph? I haven't got much time left. Maybe the concert will be so bad, no one will notice you. Eureka! That's it! Well, I need to borrow your karate costume. Hey! Bugs! What did I say? I don't know. Ooh, my tummy feels funny. I can see my mum. We are clouds! We are clouds! We will be the best clouds we can be! Come on, everyone! Time to get into your costumes!
smelly nappy baby. And Peter complains, just like a smelly nappy baby. Mum! And I get sent to my bedroom for being horrid to Peter. Go to your room now. But it's not so bad being sent to your room till tea time. When I finish my tea, I ask Mum for more chips. Not until all your vegetables have disappeared, Henry. I always make my vegetables disappear. Now, don't get me wrong. I eat loads of vegetables, like potato crisps and tomato ketchup and more crisps. There's just some vegetables I don't like, but I'm good at making them disappear. Vegetables have disappeared. Chips are vegetables too, you know. After tea, it's bath time. Just me, Yellow Duck, and Snappy Croc. And Peter. Dad says. Too much water is being wasted in this house. From now on, you're sharing. But I don't like sitting at the tap end. It's too hot. New house rule. Whoever sits at the tap end gets to decide the temperature. It's my turn to sit at the tap end! end. No, it's, it's not! It's my turn! It's my turn to sit at the tap end! No, it's not! It's my turn! Sharing isn't such a good idea after all. Mum says my bedtime's eight o'clock, but no one goes to bed at eight, except for goody goodies like Perfect Peter. Ralph doesn't even have a bedtime. Get ready for bed, Henry. So I do. I hold the record for the world's slowest toothbrusher. Oh. <sighs> The kitchen is closed. And I'm thirsty. <sighs> All right, I'll get you a glass of water. Night, night, Henry. When I'm kid, kids will be able to stay up for as long as they like. But until then, I'll have to improvise. Henry! and I want them to stay that way. You better hope she doesn't hit an artery. This causes massive blood loss, gangrene and possible amputation. That means they cut your arm off. <gasps> a 
Oh, please, it's only a pinprick. Yeah, <laughs> only a pinprick. <laughs> oh, don't pick me. Please don't pick me. William, you're next. <laughs> Don't be silly, William. It's only an injection. Yeah, cry, baby. <coughs> There's no way I'm going to cry. Uh-uh. Not me. <coughs> I'm tough and strong. <coughs> oh, I could take anything. <coughs> Margaret. <laughs> Can't wait to hear you scream. This is almost worth having an injection for. Hearing Margaret scream any moment. Now? Huh. I've never seen such a big needle. You can't frighten me. It's as long as my arm. The bigger the better. Henry. No! I don't want an injection. I want my mummy! You are, Henry. Ooh. Oh, hi there, Nurse Needle. Uh, is it my turn now? Shall I roll up my sleeve? Thank you, Henry. But the injection will be in your other arm. The other arm? <sighs> I wish the teachers wouldn't leave their lunch lying around. seem a bit warm. Well, I can't give you this injection if you're not well. You can't? No, I can't. So how do you feel? <laughs> oh, you poor thing. You need to go home and get some rest. No injection for you today. <laughs> this is great! No injection! In bed, no school tomorrow. You all right, Henry? More ice cream, please. Is it helping your sore throat? Oh, yes, it's very soothing. Of course, some chocolate sauce would really help. Well, okay, but only if the doctor says you can. Hello, Henry. I hear you're not feeling well. <coughs> so, just got a. <coughs> Bit of a <coughs> cough. Breathe in. <gasps> Does it hurt here? Oh, yes. Very painful. And here? Oh, the pain. The pain. And what about here? Ow! I really hurts. Well, that is most unusual. It's so easy being me. I'm This'll take forever! 
Unless I can get somebody to help me. So who told you there was treasure buried here? Everyone knows that, don't they, Bert? I don't know. We're going to be rich. <laughs> I'm going to buy every chocolate bar in the world. I want my own gym. Hey, Bert, found anything? I don't know. Henry, there's something down here. I'm going to buy a yacht, too. It's one of these time capsules. Huh? There's nothing in it. No treasure? No, nothing. Come on, let's keep digging. I bet there never was any treasure. How come these are all empty? I don't know. I'm going home. Thanks for nothing, Henry. They were all empty. I want my bunny. Where can he be? Maybe he's been kidnapped by aliens. I want bunny back. Henry. <laughs> You have got to find Bunny or else... I've got to find out what happened to those time capsules! Eureka! That's it! Yes! I, Henry, have a plan! This is a disgrace! If any of you know anything about the identity of these hooligans, please come forward! I bet they were boys! Miss? Henry, no! Miss, we mustn't give in to these hooligans. Henry? Uh, no, quite. We should bury another capsule to show that we won't be beaten. Excellent idea, Henry. Uh, come on, children. What's your game? Henry... Have a gold star. Oh, thank you. Maybe the children of the future would like it. How unusually unselfish, Henry. Well done. Right, let's get this capsule buried. Yes, Al, you're good at digging. Shh. Uh, I mean, you probably are. Now we wait. Well, yes. Oh, this is a bit embarrassing. Um, I, uh, I like to keep a souvenir of all the children who pass through my school. Did you dig up all the other boxes as well? Yes. Everything's in my attic at home. It's my way of remembering you all. Couldn't you just take a photo of us? Look, Henry, if anyone were to find out about this, it might, um, well, it might be a bit awkward. Henry, do your parents know you're out this late? All right. I won't tell if you won't. Promise? Promise. But I need Bunny back. Of course. Though that means I won't have anything to remember you by. Still, you're probably the one child I've no wish to remember and will probably never forget. I can live with that. It's so easy being me. I'm One at a time. Susan, you first.
What is it, boy? There's something wrong with my tuba, sir. It is not letting me express myself properly. Hmm. Maybe you're not blowing hard enough. I think it's blocked. I can't see anything. <sighs> you're right, sir. I wasn't blowing hard enough. You horrid boy! I was just expressing myself, sir. Head mistress's office, now! Keep playing! Do something, Henry. Peter? Hello, Henry. I'm the school messenger today. I've got to deliver all the posts to all the teachers. Here's the tray of post, Peter. Now, do you know what you need to do? Oh, yes, Miss Lovely. Oh, Peter, congratulations. Being school messenger is an important job. I'm sure you'll do it splendidly. This is for Mr Nerdon. Thank you, Miss Oddboard. Miss Lovely, uh, may I have a moment of your time? Ah, oh, Henry, why am I not surprised to see you? I'll deal with you in a moment. Peter, you may return to class. So, when do you have to deliver everything in that tray? Um, just before lunch. Ooh, I'm going to be the best school messenger ever! Just before lunch, eh? Perfect! A triple detention, is that all? Tuh. No discipline in this school. That's the problem. Sit down. Over there. I didn't see anything. Last lesson before lunch. Science! Don't you worry. I have a plan so brilliantly brilliant, you'll be talking about it forever! <laughs> Silence at the back! Psst! I love science! Now, observe closely. What happens when red dye is mixed with water? You. I don't know. The water turns red. Correct. <laughs> What's the matter? I don't like red. You can make us disappear, sir. Don't be so stupid, boy. Look, sir. <sighs> but it's not supposed to do that. Sir, sir, I don't feel very well. <coughs> I can't breathe. Ooh, I feel sick. <coughs> Oh, for goodness sake, it's only water. Ah! <laughs> We're being <laughs> Come in! It's so easy being me. I'm supposed to happen. It was supposed to snap. 
Okay. Now, both of you clean yourselves up. Cousin Polly will be here any minute for tea. Ooh, goody! Brissy Polly? Tea? That's it! <laughs> what are the funniest disasters on Love Till It Hurts? The ones with food, of course! Two hundred pounds, here I come! I think it's very nice of you, Henry, to record Polly's visit. She's my favourite cousin. Ah, she's here. to do a video of your visit. Isn't that sweet? Oh! And I haven't even had my hair done! <laughs> Action! <gasps> there! Ooh, isn't this exciting? <laughs> Just keep coming this way. One, it is so two, lovely to be here with my uncle three, and my aunt and my adorable four, little cousins. <laughs> I... the show. They want to pay you £250 to do an advert for them. £250? Yes! Hear that, Moody Margaret! I'm going to be a star! Ring-a-ding pizza straight through your door. Ring-a-ding pizza you're bound to want more. Ring-a-ding pizza's better get hopping. We sell hot dogs too. Henry? 
Attention shoppers, if anyone has found a very horrid boy, would they please report to the information desk? yourself. It's ridiculous. I can't take my eyes off you for a minute without you getting into trouble. Ah! <laughs> the trouble with parents is that they don't understand the important things in life. I really need those shoes. Mum just doesn't understand. Whoa! Attention shoppers, that very horrid boy is lost again. If you should find him, please report to the information desk. Wonder how this works? I have just about had enough of you. Well, Mom! No ifs, no buts. We are leaving right now. I am never coming out shopping with you again, Henry. You could have got into serious trouble. Madam, you forgot the trousers. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, madam, uh, could there be something in your bag you haven't paid for? Um, uh, no, I don't think so. May I take a look? Yes, of course, but, um, uh... Can you explain this, madam? Oh, well, you see, it was Henry and, uh, oh dear. No, no, please! Take my mummy away! Don't send her to prison! Please! Please! It was me! I put it in her bag because I wanted her to buy it for me! It was my fault! Well, I can believe that. Put me in prison instead of her! Well, it's against store policy to put children in prison, unfortunately. So we'll overlook it this time. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And, um, uh, of course I'll pay for the toy. And will Madam be taking these, too? Oh, uh, yes. Well, all right. Those two. See, Dad? What did I tell you? Brutal toots are cool! All right, Henry, that's enough. You and Peter go and hang your new trousers up. Oh, singing shoes. Someone out there must really hate parents. Oh, what a great day! New trousers and chocolate mousse for dinner! Chocolate mousse? Oh, yes! See? It doesn't matter where he goes, we'll hear him. Come to think of it, where is he going? Whoa! Whoa! Stop it! <laughs> Great idea getting those trainers, Henry. Now we'll always know when and where you're being horrid. 